Welcome to EE Know How. In this video, I would like to explain how two latches in series make a flip flop. Uh, so let's look at this circuit where we have two latches. So we have enable for the latch and the D in, and then the Q out for the latch. So what we do is we take a clock here and then we invert it and feed it as an enable for the first latch and then we have a second latch whose D in is connected to the Q of the first latch and the Q of the second latch is the output and for the second latch we directly connect the clock as the enable. So this first flop is is enabled when clock is low so this is clock is zero the second one is enabled when clock is high so now this is the actual dn then we will call this output q1 and this will call this output q2 and see if it is if it makes a rising edge triggered flip flop so what we are saying is this is equivalent to a rising edge triggered flip-flop so which has you have a clock input here and D in and Q out so this is what we are saying this this circuit should be equivalent to that so let us first look at some uh, timing diagrams and see how how we can get this so so let me draw an input enable or a clock here so this is the clock I will look at three rising edges of the clock so these are the three rising edges one two and three and now this is the D in that I'm going to supply to that circuit so the D in will look like this so I have chosen D in such that it looks like this D in this is the D in and this is the clock so now if we sketch the expected output of a flip-flop so a flip-flop looks at the three rising edges and whatever is applied at the D in so we get that output so now I'll call it Q out FF here that is the flip-flop output so assume it started with a high and then at this clock going high it goes low because D in is low then at this clock it goes high because D in is high this clock rising edge it goes low again so this is your expected output this is your expected output of a flip-flop now what we need to look at is we need to see if this circuit where you have the two the latch one and the latch two in series it will make a flip-flop a rising edge triggered flip-flop so now we will sketch first Q1 and then Q2 so Q1 is uh, the first latch is enabled when clock is low or it will pass the data when the clock is low so now I want to draw our Q1 output so now when the clock is low it will follow D in so I would say that it's D in it, it goes low and at this point till this point it is it keeps the old value low so it will be low here and then it goes high here and it stays high and it stays high here and goes low here and then it stays low and it goes high again here at this falling edge so this is Q1 now Q1 is the input to the second second latch 
and the second latch is enabled when clock is high. So now let's try to plot Q2. Q2, I will use the different color here. So for Q2, it's enabled when the clock goes high. So I'm just trying to get those times here. So now Q1 is the input for this. So assume, assume that Q2 was high initially. And then at this point, it sees, this is the D input now for the second latch. So it sees a low and goes low. And it is low at this point, the falling edge of the clock, it's still low. So it will remain low. And again, at this rising edge, it will see a high, it will go high. And it will, it will stay high because the Q1 is high and it continues to stay high and again at this point it will see that Q1 is low so it will follow Q1 till this point and then it will remain low because once this at this falling edge it will no longer track Q1 so now if you compare Q2 with Q out these two this signal and this signal they are the same. So you get the same output uh, what you are expecting out of a flip-flop from this circuit. So I hope this makes it clear that two latches in series with the opposite enables will make a flip-flop.